The University of Technology Sydney has big dreams. We're aiming to be a leading public university of technology that delivers global impact. Our 2027 strategy highlights transformational research along with new ways of working. But how will we get there? Transformational research requires more collaboration, such as having an integrated half stem perspective. It was clear early on that we needed to look at the whole research ecosystem to see how we could address the challenges ahead. First of all, UTS has many units involved in the delivery of research support services, all doing great work, but in, mostly in silos. So we didn't really have a clear picture of what was happening across the organization. Second, there was a split in how we looked and developed academics and professional staff, instead of looking at how we really depend and need each other to achieve the same goals. Third, what sort of model would allow us to scale our initiatives across all of UTS? And lastly, how can we bring our digital and physical presence together in a cohesive way? At the core of the UTS solution to combat this lack of cohesion in research support and development has been the establishment of the Research Excellent and Support Hub, shortened to ResHub. Here on screen is the ResHub landing page where you can find links to capabilities, tools and research opportunities in the research development space at UTS and most notably to the Research Outcomes Capability Framework which is central to the aims of ResHub. We will talk more about the framework in a moment. ResHub is an initiative of the Deputy Vice-Chancellor of Research, Professor Kate McGrath, and was established to provide a virtual and physical space whereby a single shop front is used to engage with staff, both academic and professional, to provide a wide variety of development opportunities and resources. ResHub also fosters a team of teams philosophy, which capitalises on an existing spirit of collaboration across units at UTS. ResHub initiatives are developed and rolled out through a desire to make UTS a leading public university of technology recognised for our global impact. In the development of the ResHub, a number of initiatives were collaboratively undertaken through a team of teams philosophy. Thus far, the initiatives have included a new research staff induction process, a centralised research funding opportunity site, and an ever-expanding suite of recordings from the provision of research development offerings at UTS. An initiative of particular note is the Research Outcomes Capability Framework, seen here on the screen. The framework offers a UTS-tailored approach to the design, delivery and evaluation of research development resources. It is directly aligned with the UTS research strategy and to the values that underpin UTS research culture. The framework was designed through a collaborative exercise with globally recognized academic leaders, professional research support staff, and learning designers. The framework is about helping individuals within the UTS research community, not only to identify the capabilities required to realize their career aspirations, but also to access those capabilities. The Research Outcomes Capability Framework focuses on the development of research talent at UTS and dovetailed with other university-wide frameworks, such as those designed to improve overall performance of staff. It is structured around 13 research capabilities seen on the diagram on screen that were identified as core to UTS's research culture and it is designed not only to help researchers to create their own research development plan, but also to help research professional support staff to, to plan their careers. These capabilities include such areas as research leadership, research communication and research impact. The development of this framework is an example of a team of teams philosophy to achieving a shared and co-owned collective identity. So what's next? Here are some of the projects in progress to advance ResHub and initiatives like the Research Outputs Capability Framework. For research skills development, we're conducting a gap analysis of all offerings delivered by the library, research office, and other units and faculties. We're also gonna socialize the framework so that supervisors and staff have a tool to guide development needs. 
We have a growing suite of online training materials, including custom design modules and recorded seminars. We also want to offer more personalized learning. And the first step is to use a self-assessment tool that directs our learners to relevant opportunities. The library is already using the framework in planning and design of services to make sure we are in alignment. And finally, the Res Hub space will have an official launch later this year. For more details, you can visit the Res Hub website.